just a bit quicker than usual, that would be even better. But yeah, so... Um... Alright then everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Scrap Mechanic with me, Spacefish, a bit out in the wild and a tad bit of a predicament. If you'll remember, in the last episode we uh, went for a first little test on uh, this very thing right here and uh, well as you can all very evidently see it did not quite go as well as we had hoped for, planned, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, we are very evidently uh, lying on the side with this thing. Server absolutely not liking what's going on here either. Plus, there's a meanie Haybot chilling out here. And we're now going to have to kill at about 2 FPS. Wow. Um, There he goes. That's the Haybot taken care of. But yeah, so um, I kind of started right back where we left off because I didn't really want to leave this thing here lying out in the wild um, exposed to bots and everything so we're gonna go and try and pick this thing up now and maybe saw this like whole tree apart regardless if we can manage and then we'll go from there so first things first performance issues fixed apparently the game just didn't like it's really something about the vehicle is it do you like we literally just fix this on the lift, and the performance is beautiful. I can't help but think that we messed up pretty big time somewhere with the vehicle construction. I don't know if it's still the cage or what's causing this, but something about this vehicle is absolutely killing the game. Look at this! Oh my god. The wheels are flex uh, flexing inwards again. Um, yeah, so... Interestingly enough, pressing the buttons doesn't do anything because I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Um, it seems to have to do with this weight in the back here. If you can see, if this is extended out, we're all totally fine. If it's pulled inwards, though, mega lag. So, I'm feeling like the weight may be glitching into the back there somewhere or something. I don't know. Uh oh. Go away! Leave my vehicle alone, you nasty, nasty toad bot. Okay, moving on. We will keep the weight extended out for a second, maybe. Um, and just try and finish. Let me zoom out. Let's just try and finish this off. Unfortunately, we can't really, so... Can we fix this lag, maybe, real quick? When does it start lagging? There. Just on the last stage of things. What if... We just, um, where's the controller for this? This is the controller, right? No. Oh, yeah, right. Well, basically, we're not even using a controller. <sighs> I would love to just put the piston r minimum range to one so it doesn't, like, glitch into any part of the construct, if that makes sense. Because I, I think the weight is just glitching into something somewhere. The thing is, I've got no clue where that may be happening. Seems to be on the last stage, so when we get very close, also. Just about to starve again. Let's not do that. I don't know how to solve this issue. It, it seems to only really be occurring ever since we extended the weight out even further, to be honest. Which would be this part back here, maybe. That helped a bit, it feels like. It's not entirely gone the lag. Now it is. Is it? It feels a lot better, the game, now. It's got to have to do something with that weight. Maybe it's just that, that the weight is kind of glitching down as much due to the piston not being able to properly hold it and the physics just glitching out a bit and the weight just kind of slightly clipping into the stuff below it and that's why I'm not entirely sure but it feels like it's something along those lines let us though quickly take care of all this oh whoa I didn't actually know that was gonna spew out more wood at me uh, but we're just gonna kind of finish this tree off like that for the time being I guess 
I would still love to be able to get the old methodology working for us. We'll have to see, though. I mean, technically, you know, logging our first tree now and it's actually technically even working. We're picking up all the things beautifully, not even missing a single bit. Um, we'll have to refine the overall way that this vehicle works. So I've already got a few ideas of what we're going to try and attempt here. Why is it not? There we go. Um, of what we're going to try and attempt in order to get this working a bit better the next time so as to not topple over with the tree, ideally. Um, or, well, ideally not having the tree topple over at all. And, um, well, also kind of try and get the tree just sawed apart a bit faster, ideally, so we don't run into those issues. I mean, the interesting part here is, even though the, not the wheels, the blades are perfectly overlapping here in the middle, as you can see, the game's still not always sawing this thing, which is kind of an inherent issue to my overall idea when it comes to taking these trees apart, because my idea would be here to just get this stuff done as quickly as we possibly can, right? Just... Like, basically, the faster we get the bottom things sewn off, the faster we actually get to move on with the upper parts of the tree, the quicker it will just fall straight down instead of toppling over to the side, knocking us over with it. Um, the issue being... I mean, we could try a smaller one like that. Maybe we shouldn't do that now. Uh, I can't see. The issue being that if, if we have these incidents here, like now, with the saw blades just not sawing the thing, despite it being directly in front of them, as you can see, I mean, this... This should just be taking the tree apart in seconds, but it doesn't. That is an inherent issue. So, um, my idea is kind of, uh, t being twofold here. I mean, the one idea would be to maybe get some pistons to extend out to the side to have, sort of, well, stands that the vehicle can stand on, and that can hold the vehicle on the side in order to allow us to have a bit more of sidewalk stability, not topple over to the side as we did the first time. The other one being attaching additional saw blades somewhere else along the construct so we can, without issues, take the tree apart a tad bit faster. Uh-oh. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, we're also kind of glitching the front of the vehicle into the ground again or something, it seems, so, uh, that is not really helping the physics. Physics say no thank you once more, we're absolutely glitching, but, technically, we've now logged our first tree. I hope you're all very, very proud of me. We're gonna turn those saw blades off, and we're gonna just, uh, fix that. We seem to have lost a few pieces along the way, so let's go and grab those two, I suppose. Um... Whoopsies. There we go. We will take these apart too. But yeah, so... Ah, uh, it's a tough one. I really want to make this, this idea here work. And I think it can work, technically. The question is, how far will the way that the game just overall works for us allow us to go on these ideas? Did we just lose like a... Oh no, right, that's not a piece of wood, that's my actual construct. Okay, turning that off, um, folding this in again, that is technically our oh, first good bit of wood, actually. I mean, holy whoa. Um, literally already filled this thing up nearly, so we'll have to probably go and exchange things here a bit. You're also stuck on a toad pod head. Jesus Christ, okay. I am having some issues with the steering still. I think we will need to fix that part too, adding two bearings so that we have a bit more uh, maneuverability on this thing, because that's not great currently either. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, overall, <laughs> I don't know what I did with this vehicle, but it's just like so glitchy. I mean, we can fix all our issues in this game just by putting it on lift. So, yeah, I cannot tell you how I managed to do uh, such a thing. But it's not great. I can tell you as much. We're going to go and get these uh, collectors in here for a quick second so we can already start refining all that dank wood that we just farmed up. I mean, in the end, 
Why in the world not? That's what we're collecting it for. Because the idea is going to be, of course, coming back with all that wood and building ourselves a house whenever we've actually managed to knock down all those trees over here. Well, the big ones that are in the way, because of course I can't knock them over with my hammer, so that would be very helpful. And I mean, if we took the small ones out alongside just a bit quicker than usual, that would be even better. But yeah, so... Um... Oops. <laughs> That was not the plan, I can assure you. I just fat-fingered the key. Uh, this is a very, very worrying sight, though. Um, the vehicle's just dancing along, doing its own thing. Okay. Alright, it seems like it's calmed down a bit for the time being. But I don't know, this thing seems to be possessed or something. I cannot even tell you what's going on. We are a bit low on gas, uh, we will fix that in a tad bit, but what we'll do now is we'll put this thing back on a lift, so we've got our peace for the time being with all the lag. Really apologise for that, I mean, it's, it's not really my fault, I suppose, but uh, it still very much sucks. So, uh, as I previously said, I have got a two-fold set of ideas slash approach that I want to go towards with this. So the one, on the one hand, I would like to try integrate another saw blade on each of these sides in order to kind of aid us in bringing the trees down a little bit quicker than we currently are. That way then hopefully um, accelerating the speed at which we're cutting down the trees to a point where, as I previously said, they're just kind of going whoosh from top to bottom, just falling straight down because we're sawing things apart that quickly and collecting things that quickly that they don't really have a chance to fall over. That's not going to entirely make the thing work, but I hope that it's at least going to alleviate the other issue a bit. Uh, then the other thing would be that, like, somewhere maybe, say, here and uh, then also, of course, there, we will have uh, extendable pistons that go out a long ways, and um, then there's another piston on there that goes kind of downwards, and we've got a little platform, and uh, that's kind of just to help stabilize us on the ground so we don't topple to the right, don't topple to the left. That will require some parts. Now, let's see what we do actually currently have that we can already start making things work with. If we do have a quick look in here, the saw blades themselves uh, shouldn't be the biggest issue in the world unless we are actually... Nope. We can very much make those happen, I think. Let's just double check how much we need it. Okay, so it's only 10 units of the uh, little tier 2 metal per saw blade. We can very much make that work. So we'll get two saw blades going for a start. Um, that'll take a minute. On top, then, we'll need some pistons. Now, for the pistons, I'm kind of doubting that we still have many component kits left over. Um, do we have any in the cycle here? We don't. Do we have any in the inventory here? We actually do. A lot more than I thought we had left over. Oh yeah, right, because we were uh, farming those, but we didn't have enough to actually upgrade the um, the springs on the vehicle. So, you know, that works, I guess. Um, we will require even more tier 2 metal for that purpose, though, and we only really do have enough for one set. So while that's all cooking, Let's quickly hop into our expedition vehicle. Let's go to the burning forests. Oh, it feels so good when it doesn't lag anymore, does it, guys? I'm... Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know. It's absolutely insane how that just played out for us. But, well, the vehicle's on the lift for now, so we do have our peace for the time being. I still need to find out how we can fix that lag, though. I'm rather sure that it is actually the weight at the back causing the weight, and not as I initially thought the cage at the front. So... That maybe also helps, because potentially that would allow us to even extend out, uh, well, extend upwards the cage in the front again, in order to, you know, alleviate the toppling issue a tad bit and just, just be a bit happier with life there. Uh, we'll see about that, but one way or another we'll have to go and fix that weight then in the very end. There is another cage farm, I know. We can probably use them eventually, but uh, admittedly I haven't found the time to go out and farm those last few pineapples yet. So we don't need them just yet. We eventually will though, to my knowledge, um, need those guys for the Gatling gun. We do already of course have one. Down below our base, but we'll have to uh, grab that second one to bring them over eventually. 
with the with the truck somewhat working, though that won't be the hardest thing in the world either, to be quite honest with you. Now um, that we do have a tad bit of this, ooh, I forgot about you, um, of the stuff we need though. Let's go and first things first, cycle these through here real quick. Boom. Uh, things still working, we'll go and throw that all in there. Exactly 10 units, it appears. And we will go and get another set on the way of the tier 2 metal blocks here. Which we can't because we are very much lacking. Ugh. Yeah, I guess I guess I haven't been farming enough as of late. <laughs> We're a bit low in scrap metal now too. So, um, let's put this thing back onto here for a quick second. And then we will go and schedule some more things. Beautiful, that is done. Because uh, we will already, I think, start refining all the wood that we are getting in. Oh, right, that isn't... Didn't that used to be scrap wood? I had, I had the impression that this used to be scrap wood once you refined it. Apparently, we, we... Is that due to us using the saw blades instead of the hammer? Because this is like proper wood. I thought I usually got scrap... I'm so confused. Anyways, we're already getting that sort of wood, so that's even better. No refining to be done there then, I guess. Uh, we do have the first blade. Another thing that we do need to queue real quick. It's going to be two bearings, because that's going to be our last ten units of scrap metal. Barely, barely having the stuff for that. Uh, what we are also, admittedly, a tad bit low on. Nope, we've got fuel. That's good. We do have some leftover fuel. I think it is going to be time for a quick fuel trip in a bit. Um, but, you know, that's never the worst thing in the world, you know. Good excuse to take out our flying vehicle thingy, which I always love. I think you hopefully always also love. And um, I do like to take you all along for those rides because... I think they're usually quite enjoyable. But yeah, let's uh, throw the gas at it. Uh, we actually even apparently had some in our inventory. So this thing's good for a while now. That's beautiful. Now what we can already do out here is kind of pre-plan for where we want the saw blades to sit. Uh, ideally, we would have a saw blade for that purpose, though, so we know the about sizes of those things. Huh, we even have two ready. Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought we had made one too many and we had a spear from some random place. But no, we don't. So, um, let's just go and try and plan this a bit. I'm sort of wondering... First things first, we will need to make a bit of space here. I mean, these are all attached to the sides, so taking away these blocks here shouldn't matter for the overall stability of this cage construct. So, we could, of course, place the blades here. I'm not quite sure what effect that would have. We could just place them without bearings for a start, to be honest, just to gauge how well this works. Because, of course, we could place them a bit closer, too. We do want to make sure that they reach the tree as good as possible, so... Maybe what we could do here is take a few blocks away from here as well. And yes, I know they're not on bearings yet. Doesn't matter. Does honestly not matter at all. And we can place the bearings later after we just remove these. I just want to kind of try and see... Oh, where do we place this block now? Here? One, two, three... One, two, three, yeah. Uh, I just want to kind of try and see which approach works better. So we're going to place two saw blades, drive to a very thick tree, see if we can get this wrapped around the tree. God, holy wow, okay. I ah. Let's go and do that, right? Then we can at least drive in peace. We really need more bearings, by the way. I'm going to have to farm some scrap metal from somewhere. Uh, we need some bearings to steer the back wheels to this is uh just not maneuverable enough I mean yeah sure admittedly the weight kind of slouching at the back there doesn't really help now um, but even otherwise we need more maneuverability now what I want to try is basically get around one of these trees and you can see just how far apart these saw blades are I mean this is not even remotely close enough 
for it to work for us. Now another thing that we could also actually consider is making the cage a bit more narrow so the tree does have less space to move. Because honestly we may have made this whole construct a bit too wide in anticipation of mega huge trees which well I mean the trees are never going to be triple the size of this one so I think narrowing down the whole construct may help too but let's for the time being take our time with the saw blades then so this here I do want to compare this real quick because I know we have a rather big tree at home there as well so let's go and I mean, that's about... It's not actually that big, honestly. All the trees that I'm seeing are very well within... Okay. So, what I think we then probably even have to do... Be something a little more like that. And if that's the way to go, maybe narrowing this down would be totally the thing to do. Could narrow this down, only have one saw blade right here, have two right there. And maybe even a third one around one of these cage elements that we close. Sounds like a good idea to me, honestly. Especially with those things just struggling to take things apart when we tried a second ago. Let's try if this still fits around the tree. I hope it will. Oh, god. Can't see a thing. Oh, these actually glitch through the trees, do they? Let's try that again. Oh my god. Please, camera. We we are not able to zoom. Yeah, look at that. These can actually somewhat glitch into the trees. Okay, so that's nice. And let's control from outside because this camera is too wonky. Yeah, so those are close enough to take the tree apart. I'm liking that. I'm thinking we'll remove one right there. We'll put these two on bearings. Maybe, as I said... Put another one on top somewhere in front on the folding cages. And just do that approach. And then honestly, we should really, really, really consider also narrowing these cages down. Okay, so um, a bit of work still to do there in order to prepare for the next run. But that's fine. I think we can optimize away a bit at this and uh, maybe hopefully it'll, it'll help us get things done. And I do really tend to say that we should extend this thing upwards too. So, um, let's take these off again for a quick second. We will go and take these things off right there. No, actually, we kind of need those for a second now. Let me let me leave those on there for a second. I do want to sort of kind of gauge where the middle would be. Which, uh, beautiful news, there is not a middle good stuff. Oh, that triggers me so hard. That's why we went with two blades in the first place, isn't it? There's no middle! No! <laughs> Please! Why'd you have to do that to me? This is unacceptable. We cannot work like this. Can we, guys? I, I can't. What if we... Where's my second saw blade? Just glitch these into each other? No. Game doesn't allow us to do that, of course. What if we do a little something like that? That's the approach we had in the first place, isn't it? I mean, not quite, but nearly. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I don't quite know what to do with those saw blades, admittedly. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you think. Um, apologies, what you think about that. I would love to know. Kind of a bit lost on that one. But okay, let's get the pistons uh, rolling in the meanwhile, at least. Uh, well, one of them. Get that rolling. We'll get a second one in a second. I'll go put the bearings down for these additional saw blades that we're putting down. I mean, that part, at least, I think is quite set. So, you know, that's a start. Uh, I really don't know about this. I kind of I kind of want the symmetry, but inefficiency... I, I don't know what triggers my OCD more. Is it the inefficiency? <laughs> is it the symmetry? I, I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. So... 
This here is quite fine. I do have to say this weight thing kind of setting off the balance of the vehicle and raising a front that much kind of is annoying. So um, this makes more sense visually to me. Do we narrow this entire construct down a bit? I'm thinking the answer should probably be yes, to be fair. I mean, if we expect the tree to be about there, we should honestly just put the cage about there, to be quite honest. Something a little more like that would probably work a whole lot better. And at the same time, potentially even save me a bit of material for the cages. Now, the only question here being, but I think the collectors... <sighs> I'm a bit worried about the collectors not being able... Hmm. I'm a bit worried about the collectors not being able to pick things up, because, like, the long wood pieces just jank around in there weirdly, you know? Not entirely sure about that one. Uh, let's go... I think we may even need an engine upgrade, to be honest. How many were we able to drive with this engine? I know, we're back to lag, I'm sorry. Let me press the button again. Was it that one? No, it wasn't. Of course it wasn't. That one. Lag is gone! Hey, magic! Okay, so... This engine appears to be the one that we're using. We're just going to try and attack some more, I guess. No, okay. We do need an engine upgrade for this. Now, we do still have the component kit, so let's go and do that. After taking this uh, piston with us and actually uh, getting the second one in the queue to... Where are the pistons? There they are. Then we'll go and grab our component kits. And let's go for an engine upgrade. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of lot of reworking to do here. I think. But uh, that's just the way that it's gonna have to be. I think it's fine overall. We uh, I think expected some issues, especially given Spastic Cube's comment in the first play uh, comments in the first place that my vehicle was gonna be way too light and everything was gonna topple over and everything. I honestly already kind of feared that something like this was going to end up being the case. Um, but that's fine. You know, we'll just need some time to rework things here. So we do have the extra blades on there. I hope that that's going to help with the speed of actually taking this whole thing apart when we actually get to that. Uh, we will... We'll have to rethink this cage thing. I do think that we may have to narrow things down. Let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. I would very much appreciate some feedback on that matter too, maybe. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we're going to take the pistons. We're going to make this sort of become a reality, you know, the crane-like approach of actually putting this thing on some platforms here and hopefully stabilizing us a bit more towards the sides. And um, then let's see. Let's see if we can make that work that way. Maybe also with the engine upgrades, with the cage stuff. Um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What else you think needs to be done? I think we're also going to extend that cage upwards a bit. So probably another one or two episodes of just plonking away at this vehicle, doing some optimizations, doing a bit of reworking, and hopefully we can get this a little bit closer to a state of not instantly toppling over when we when we try this. Um, we all know we could do it the easy way and just saw down the tree, let it fall, and then just take it apart bit by bit like we just did at the start of the episode. But where would be the fun in that if you can also make things complicated? So uh, we're going to try that. Um, we're going to continue that in the next episode, though. For today, I'm going to have to end it off right here. We're already out of time, unfortunately. I'll be back with you in the next one. If you enjoyed this one, though, make sure to hit that like button right down below. That does always help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way, as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next one very, very soon. Ciao.